Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that Mr. Solanki has a school in eight different cities. He had to submit a report to the state education minister giving details about the number of boys and girls in the schools. And so he, for that he asked his assistant to prepare a report. The data had to include the number of students and the ratio of boys to girls in each of the schools. Vikram filled the information about the number of students in these schools but mismatched the information regarding the ratio of boys and girls. So, the but the ratios were correct. Okay. So, this means that these are the number of students. The ratios are not matching. Like 8, 8 ratio 7 will not be applicable to Alvar. It will be applicable to some other school. Okay. So, what we have to do is we have to match these and then answer the questions. So, the first thing is let us add the ratios. So, 8 plus 7 is 15. This is 12, 13, 7, 5, 17, 23 and 11. And in order to ease the calculation, let us uh, write these numbers as multiple of certain numbers so that it is easy for us to find out which can go with which one. So 460 we can write as uh, 23 into 20. Okay, 368 you can divide by 4. And then you will get uh, 92. So you can write 423 into 4 or you can call it 23 into 16. Okay. Now you see that 23 comes two times. So both of them uh, can be possible uh, for this ratio. Four, 408 divided by 4 you get 102. 4 into 102 you can call it 17 into 6. So 17 into 24. So a factor of 24 or 17 can be the number here. 264 if you divide by 8, it is 33 into 8. Okay. Or you can call it uh, 11 into 3 into 8. 33 is 33 into 10. You can say 11 into 30 also. 285 is basically uh, 15 into 19. 273 if you divide by uh, 13 right so 13 20 is 260 one, 21 into 13 and uh, then 364 if you divide by 4 you get 91 91 is 13 into 7 so we have done some basic factorization to find the possible ones okay so uh, let's see this thing 15 or 15 is possible for uh, e as well as f 12 is a total which is possible for C or uh, if we see this, this is possible for D as well because 4 into 3 is 12. So C or D. 13 is possible for uh, G and H. Then 7 is possible for uh, H and uh, even G because it is 7 into 3 into 13. So, this is possible for G and H. Right. Now, if we see this, 5 is possible for multiple like we have A, we have uh, E, we have F. Okay. Then 17, we, if we look at 17 is possible for only C, not others have multiples of 17. Okay. 23, if you see, it is possible for both A and B. And 11, 11 is possible for D and E. So, these are the possibilities, right? Now, we will rule out the possibilities. So, 17 is, uh, this is C, okay? So, C is 9 ratio 8. Now, wherever we have C, we will rule out that possibility. So, it cannot be C, it has to be D. So, D is 7 ratio 5, right? And then we have, uh, we will rule out D. So, E is 11, that is 6 ratio 5. So, E is 6 ratio 5. Okay. So, these are done. Now, E is, e is also done. So, we will have F at uh, 8 ratio 7. So, F is 8 ratio 7. F is also done. So, we will rule out F. This becomes A is 3 ratio 2. Okay. So, A is also done. Then we have B. B should be 13 ratio 10. 
okay so we are left with gnh and if we see gnh are available in both these right so these two ratios we cannot determine it is 7 ratio 6 or 4 ratio 3 okay so same goes here 4 ratio 3 or 7 ratio 6 now we need to answer these questions based on this ratios that we have determined right so for all these six schools we can determine the numbers for these two we cannot determine so the first question is for how many schools can we uniquely determine the number of boys and girls in them so the answer is six okay now we will find out the boys and girls in these schools and for the remaining two we will have find out the possible values so boys and girls So we have schools A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Now this is 5 parts. So 1 part will be 92, in, 92 because 5 parts. So 92 into 3, 276. 92 into 2, 184. Okay, 368, 23 parts. 16 part is 1 ratio. 16 into 10, 160. Subtract, subtract from uh, uh, 368, you get 208. Okay and then we have 17 17 into 24 one part is 24 so 24 into 9 216 and 24 8 192 then we have 12 so uh, divide this by 12 that is 2 and uh, 24 so 22 22 is one part 22 5 is 120 and this will be 144 sorry 1 22 into 22 parts, uh, one part is 22, so 22 into 5 is 110 and this will be 154. Then 330 is divided into 11 parts, so one part is 30, 30 into 5, 150 and 30 into 6, 180. F, we have 15 parts, this is 15 into 19, 19 7s are 133 and 19 8s are 152, right? And then we have these two possibilities. So let us write uh, these possibilities. If we divide into 13 parts, one part is going to be 21. And in the second case, we are going to have 7 into 39. So if we divide uh, 21 as one part, we will have 147 and 126. Okay. And uh, the, second, uh, the second case could be if we divide into 4 ratio 3. So 39, 4, 156 and 39, 3, 117. So these are the possibilities. Hanuman Gad, if we divide into 7 ratio 6, that is 13 parts. 13, 1 part is 28, 28, 7, 196 and 28, 6, 168. And taking the first case, wherein the ratio is 4 ratio 3, 7 parts, 1 part is 52. Okay, 52 into 4, 208. And 52 into 3, 156. So these are the possible numbers. Okay. Now uh, the question is how many? This is the one that we will do in the end, adding this. Okay. So how many schools have more than 200 boys? So this has 200 boys. See, you do not need to count. You need to see that can we determine for all schools. So for H, we cannot determine that whether it has more than 200 boys or not because it might be 196 208 g definitely does not have more than 208 so we cannot determine the answer what is the lower lowest number of girls in any of the schools okay so lowest number of girls in any of the schools is 110 and the last question what is the maximum possible number of boys in the eight schools put together so what we will do we will add these values and we will take the uh, the higher of these two values so basically we will see this if these two add to uh, 355 and if we add these we get 352 so we will choose this first part right so we will take this case wherein 147 and 208 boys so we need to add these so we have two, two, uh, 276 484 uh, this is 700 780 934, 934 plus 
plus 355. So 1451, 1441. It should be 15. Let me just calculate again. 484. Uh, this is 700, 854, 854, and then 1034, 1186, 1186 plus 355, 1541 would be the total. So that is the answer to this question. So this solves the set. We could determine the values for uh, six of the schools and for rest two of them, we had two possible cases. So that's the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.